Welcome to Stanley Scuba Sailing and Adventures. I started diving as a teenager and eventually decided to become a dive master. I started sailing as a young man and took many classes with the American Sailing Association and completed an offshore passage of over a thousand miles non-stop. I love exploring and believe that life is an adventure. It is what you make it. I appreciate you joining me. Please hit that subscribe button. Enjoy. Welcome aboard Rum Rations. This is a tour of my 43 foot 1975 Golf Star. She's a sloop rigged center cockpit with a full enclosure. She spent most of her life as a freshwater vessel Canadian flagged before I acquired her. She has a 50 foot mast. She has 10 opening ports with screen and 6 hatches with screens and shades. This in conjunction with the 12 12 volt fans throughout provide maximum airflow for comfort. The bow pulpit is 16 gauge 1.5 inch polished steel all welded construction with three legs, double rail with welded lugs for double safety lines and navigation lights. The primary anchor is a 75 pound CQR and it has 200 feet of 5 16 chain attached to it. The secondary anchor is a 45 pound Bruce and has 150 foot of quarter inch chain attached to it. The primary whisker pole is attached to a track on the mast. There's a secondary whisker pole if needed. There are foot controls on the deck for the windlass. There's also a roller furling jib. Moving aft, we can see the custom made hardtop over the cockpit area. As I mentioned, it's a full enclosure. The enclosure may be switched from isinglass to screen or to a solid canvas for storage. There are four 215 watt solar panels with a 60 amp MPPT controller. Two of the panels are on top of the bimini. The other two panels are on top of the arch at the rear of the vessel. The arch includes a davit system for the dinghy. There's a pulley system for raising and lowering the outboard engine to and from the dinghy. There are two 20 pound standard propane tanks at the rear of the vessel below the bench. One is connected to the gas grill and the other connected to the three burner stove inside. The connections can easily be switched and the tanks easily swapped out at any local retailer. The small swim platform can be folded up. Here's the 2018 Mercury Aluminum Rib 10 foot 6 inch tender. Large aft storage compartment on the deck and a KISS wind generator for when the sun's not shining. And a nice table that covers a life raft area can be used for cutting fish. It has a nice hard surface. She has an 11 foot 10 inch beam. Large spacious cockpit area. And a very wide companionway. The doors on the companionway are half barrel hinges and may be completely removed. The plexiglass in the companionway doors has screen inserts. The captain's chair folds down and may be covered. There's a seventh opening hatch with screen and shade above the captain's chair. There's a connection for a mic 2 for the radio and all of the navigation and controls are at fingertip overhead, including additional controls for the windlass and the bow thruster. There's a stand next to the wheel for holding a secondary navigation device such as an iPad. There's a power source for charging located underneath. The winches are conveniently located for cockpit access. Moving in through the companionway, we have the galley to our left. In the galley, you'll find a three burner stainless steel gimbaled Force 10 propane stove with oven. There's a Nova Cool refrigerator and freezer which can run on 12 volt or 110. 
There's also a drop-in deep freeze under the strainer, which is 1.5 cubic feet. The faucet in the galley sink extends. There's also a 1 micron water filter installed and a place to sample the water from the water maker before redirecting that water to the holding tank. Over the TV, there's a button to turn on the TV antenna that is run up through the mast so that wherever you are, you can pick up the local stations. I use a portable air conditioner to cool things down in the summer months and run the exhaust out through the hatch in the cabin. The air conditioner fits nicely into the cabinet behind the TV and stows quite quickly and easily. Moving forward, there's a generous sized bee berth, large enough for two adults to sleep comfortably. There's a storage compartment to the left and additional storage to the right and left above the bee bunk. In addition, there is access to the anchor locker, forward, access to the two batteries for the windlass underneath the bunk. There's an access door to open and close the seacock for the 40 gallon holding tank. The head is a manual pump, Japsco, and there's an additional shutoff valve between the manual pump and the holding tank. All of the ports have been treated with a filter to help reduce the heat from the sun. There's ample storage in the head with a cabinet below the sink, storage above the sink, and a separate medicine cabinet. The dining table has small rails to prevent dishes from falling off the table during rough seas. Moving aft, the companionway stairs are completely removable and lift out of the way. There's access to the engine from the front below these stairs. The stairs include storage compartments at every step. The navigation station includes access to the main radio, storage above and below. There's a red light for reading charts at night. Here we'll also find controls for the S-Bar diesel heater. Moving further aft, we find electrical panel controls, access to the engine room, and then the captain's quarters to the rear. The captain's quarters includes five ports and a large hatch. The bunk is queen-sized. In addition, there are four 12-volt fans in the ceiling in the captain's quarters. The primary fuel tank is 50 gallons. The secondary fuel tank is 35 gallons for a total of 85 gallons of fuel. There is a pump and a polisher between the two fuel tanks. The system is designed to allow you to move fuel in either direction through the polisher. The 50 gallon water tank may be replenished by the pure water maker. The aft head was removed to create a full walk-in shower. This room is very large and in this video you can see I have a washer and dryer in the shower compartment that has since been removed. The plumbing is still in place should I decide to reinstall the head. She's powered by a Perkins 4108 diesel engine. The engine has been rebuilt and has low engine hours. Cruising speed is 6 knots. Moving forward you can see the fire extinguishers on the left there is an automatic fire extinguisher system above the engine in the engine room, a fire blanket, and ample storage within the engine room. The wood box houses four additional 12-volt batteries. There's another separate starting battery, not in series, in front of the engine. How does she sail? Like a dream. She points close to the wind and sails really well. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.